Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from BTN HD. And yes, Apple has released another version for the iOS 8 uh, Beta 3. And these are some of the things that I've noticed so far. The number one thing that I noticed so far with the new beta is iCloud Drive. Uh, there's going to be a new pop-up window in Beta 3 giving users the option to upgrade to iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive lets users store any type of file. What's That's what Apple is actually um, advertising. And through iCloud Drive, you can turn it off or on. Uh, it does not appear to be fully functional at this time, so it's really limited what you're going to have. If you click on it, uh, these are only these are the only settings that you're going to get for the iCloud Drive settings. Uh, this section, you're really minimal. You can either turn it off or on. Uh, you can use cellular data. You can turn it off and on. And if you look me up by email, you're not really going to get too much. Again, it's not really full functional as of yet. There's a new hands-off setting in general menu of the settings app that allows users to toggle hands-off and on. Uh, actually, hands-off allows users to seamlessly transfer tasks between iOS and OS X. Uh, this feature is going to really work well with the new Yosemite OS that Apple has been pushing out to developers. So I'm going to test that out to see if, how well it works. Uh, another cool thing that I noticed is quick type keyboard. So there's a new option in keyboard section of the general menu in the settings app that lets users toggle quick type on and off. So that's pretty cool. I got to play around with that to see what it actually does. And weather has also been redesigned. Some minor changes have been made to the way information is displayed within the weather app. So if you go all the way to the bottom, it looks like the, the way that the information is displayed has changed a lot. Uh, one of those minor changes that Apple has done with the weather app. Uh, another thing that I noticed is within messages, I've seen, I, I, I don't recall seeing send read receipts, uh, but I think that's kind of new to me. If it's not new, let me know at the bottom of the comment section. And the last thing that I noticed within messages is in the settings menu for messages, there's a new option to automatically keep audio and video messages. Normally these messages are deleted after a short period of time and it actually saves space. So it's really up to you if you guys want to keep your audio and your video messages in your phone forever. Uh, but that's really up to you. And that's it guys, Those, that's the only thing that I've noticed so far with Beta 3 for the iOS 8. If you guys have noticed anything else, leave it at the bottom of the description and i catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.